The biggest thing I wasn't ready for as a pro photographer that beginners don't expect in pro photography is kind of something which is really obvious once you know it and makes sense, but also you just don't see it coming. So let me take you back. I'm a budding photographer. I want to shoot the ad campaigns. I want to shoot the big stuff. I want to be on set with all the people doing the big money jobs. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be working hard. I'm going to be shooting, you know, two, three jobs a week. We're going to be like on set all the time. It's going to be wicked. There'll be champagne. There'll be whatever going on. It's going to be amazing. Now, the actual reality of this career path is for sure. Some weeks you shoot three times a week. Some weeks you shoot every day. I've had a month once where I've shot every day of the month. But, and this is the big thing which I really struggled with. If I actually shot three times a week, all year, at my going rate, I'd be a millionaire. Multi-millionaire, probably. It'd be lovely. Um, but I'd also be dead. Because the shooting is hard. It is incredibly hard. There is no chill on set. I remember coming back off jobs in the past to get the train back to Leicester and at St Pancras Station. We're at Circe's Bar. I've ordered a pint, a glass of champagne and three tequila slammers for myself just to try and take the edge off the adrenaline rush. These shoots are so stressful. They are so intense. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And even the jobs which go really well and really easily, when that much money is on the line, it's stressful because you've got to deliver. There's no choice of not delivering because not only would you not get paid, but you've got to pay for everybody. You've got to nail this job. And if you lose the usage, so if they don't accept the job and they go, oh, do you know what? We'll pay for the shoot. We're not going to use the images. That usage money, that is where you make your big money. You might only be on two and a half grand a day for your day rate, but if your usage is 40K, you kind of want that 40K. You've got to make sure it's good. That's what you've invested into. Not just that. Each job takes planning. It is now December the 1st. December the 1st. I am planning jobs in mid-January. We've got one shoot we're planning for February because there's so many things that need to align before the shoot date. And I'm involved for a lot of the process. So we've had for one shoot, for example, three meetings already. It's only a one day shoot. It's only a social campaign. It's small. It's not like pennies, but it, you know, it's not hundreds of thousands either. We've got another job in February, which is massive. And we've actually had one small meeting and that's it. But I know leading up to it, we're going to be location scouting. We're going to be getting multiple stylists involved. We're going to need to find a huge crew. We're going to have to rent multiple studios in different places. There's going to be a lot going on for it. And all of that is what eats up your day to day. We don't shoot every day because we're too busy planning for these big shoots. And thank goodness they pay well, because otherwise it wouldn't be a viable business. The other thing is, I'm busy now planning and I'm working away and stuff. We finished shooting for the year. You know, I'm not going to really get a shooting before Christmas. I've got 25 days. There's not enough time to plan one. But I'm busy. And I keep being busy. And the next time I shoot, I get a good amount of money. And the next time I shoot, I get a good amount of money. But then, and here's the terrifying bit. Here's the bit where most people bottle it. I might not work for six months. There might be just nobody wanting me. All my jobs might get cancelled. There might be a delay. There might be a pandemic again. That was scary. It all stops suddenly and you have nothing to do. And at the moment, my nothing to do means you're getting loads of YouTube content because I've got 24 days left of this year working and got to do something because I can't be unproductive. So we're, do, we're channeling into this and we're doing those shoot videos and stuff. This is very fun. I like doing this. But when I'm busy, this dies down. And luckily, this bank of stuff here then goes to carry over that period. But when it stops and there's no planning, there's no shooting and all the invoices have come in, that is what beginner and amateurs don't understand. The stress, the pressure of going, was that it? Am I now over? Is my career finished? Will I never work again? Have I, have I just, is that it? Am I done? You never know when your last shoot will be. So every time you get a quiet patch, you start to think it might be then. Thankfully, I have had many of these quiet patches over the last 15 years. And every time another job has come in, just at the point you think, Maybe I'm going to have to start thinking about a career change. Something comes in through the inbox. And it, it kind of works like that. It's a weird world. It kind of pushes you to your limits of going, I'm never going to work again, followed by being so busy going, I hope I never have to work again. And it's up and it's down and it's up and it's down. And there's no typical week. There's no average day. There's no normal anything. And for me, that is both amazing and terrifying. It is what keeps me interested in this career. And this is what makes me want to leave it. 
But I hope that's of use to you and I hope it kind of helps you understand what it might be like as a professional photographer. If you want to know more about this, let me know what you'd like to know in the comments below. I always read them. Don't always get a chance to reply, but I do always read them. I appreciate them and I'll try and make a video on it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.